Willow, episode three, titled The Battle of Slaughter Lamb. And I have to first say this. The first thing I have to say, I'm so looking forward to every song that's played in the credits and how out of place it feels. And feel like, it, that, that, they're getting better with this. It, it kind of makes sense. But it's just, I don't, when I first think of Willow, I don't think of Metallica and Enter the Sandman. But it's a modernized version, and all. it doesn't matter. It's just how good. It doesn't the same The first thing I think of Willow, I don't think of that. <laughs> yeah, it does the same fits more on like, like really adult fantasy, like Game of Thrones, and you know now House of Dragon or The Witcher or something on those lines, where like you can tell tell everything's bleak and black and think it's just, you know very adult stuff. Not high level, like harder fantasy, like Willow or Lord of the Wings or have, have you, right? So, I'm so looking forward to every week and go for the remaining five, you know, the remaining five episodes to go. That's our place. Oh my god, you think that's like, oh god, this is wonderful. But the episode itself, um, it's like me who is clearly not a fan of the first two episodes. Just might not be a fan. Just a little bit. Kind of. No. I don't know. I might be. Just a slug. I might have some issues with it. I don't know. I mean. You know. I might have some issues. I think so. Um. I just randomly did this. I'm just doing this voice for like. Uh, I just was trying to do the Stewie Griffin thing. And uh. Bow. You might have done that one. And this voice kind of just came out. But, what, what I think the episode is, is the best episode out of the three so far. But, I think one of the issues with this episode is, some of the characters, and like, you still got the tone sh shifts. Like, you have, like, the whole episode, the whole episode is the Save the, epi uh, Save the Princess episode. That's all it is, it's a Save the Princess episode where last week, uh, uh, Dove gets kidnapped uh, by uh, the Queen's knights, but the, because the knights are assessed, they're not going to take her back to the kingdom, they're going to take her to Slaughter Lamb, where she's going to be sacrificed and killed, and uh, so the events of what our bad guys are going to do, even though they're so, so enveloped, not really, um, the, our villains, so the villains who are uh, enveloped, um, hopefully, uh, can do their plan, whatever that plan is. And so you got Wheeler of the Western team going on and trying to save her. And naturally, they're going to show her, you know, Dove being independent and her trying to get out. And and she bumps into this, uh, I assume, same sex, uh, a same sex couple farmers on Lakeshire. And that's when the, the tone shift happens because they're very. I, I get it, the whole show is very. This whole episode is very bleak, it's very dark. But I feel like that tone could be worked for the entire episode because the moment they two show up and it just. They start doing like the generation jokes like, oh, your generation, you're so blah blah blah. blah, blah. No. Let me simplify this, honey. Like, all that. I'm like... I get the idea you want to show what these knights can do, how powerful they are, what um, show that they're not easy to kill because uh, one of the... Uh, one of the farmers uh, stabs the main knight in the back and thinks he's dead, but shows that they're hard to kill, so she goes off and, and kills them, uh, and kills both of them. I, but the thing is, because it's so height in its, like, yeah, like, so doesn't fit for the rest of the episode, I'm like, could you easily cut all that stuff out? Like, just, we don't see her until, like, the big bow at the end? Like, it's a, not a big battle, but it's like a sword fight, a, a big sword fight battle. Um, which, but then there's all, also there's all this other stuff that like, we care about, because 
Willow and the, what's the team there? The wagon is um, stuck in the mud, and they're trying to get the wheel off. And you have Kit and uh, who, the guy's name. What's the um, um, uh, 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 Merwick. So. King of Merrick, you know, Merrick is like, I know stuff about your dad. Kit's like, can you please tell, tell, tell us why? But then they go on this other quest that feel like fantasy armor stuff. And I'm like, I get the idea, idea that you want every character to do something in the episode, some uh, character thing that moves them forward. But I'm a big fan of like, if if you don't have a, a story that they have in the epi- for that episode, just maybe don't use them much. Uh, let the actors have a couple of days off, or what? You know, if, if you don't think there's a uh, help for their story to be told in that particular episode. But I will say this Jay, you can do better. I get it. Kit's cute. I get it. But I don't see why you are so lock on her. Uh, why she is the one, and why she is. The, the, the one that you'll fight for because she's very like she's better what she was in the first episode because now it's like okay the magic thing is true but in this episode itself she is very still very like reactionary and very like uh yeah well it's a classic the young but very young s type of you know, like, uh, essentially, fuck you, fuck you, why, why you did this, this is a very knee jerky CW type dialogue and type character to the point you're like, Jay, you're more independent and more uh, head swooned on than Kid is. Um, you might want to, you, you might, you can do better. You can do better. Now, um, what other things, now there's some sword fights in this episode, but I won't lie, two things, the sword fights and the action in this show is quick cuts, very quick cutting, and this episode has a really, because it's set like in like night or at least like there's a cloud and it's, it's a very dark cloudy, you know, fight. It's hard to see what's going on. So I'm like, what's going on? What's happening? I guess someone's going to stab. I think when you have a character who dies in this episode and I don't feel anything because I, I didn't see it happen because it feels like it just happened um, or I at least heard it happen but I didn't see it, you know, show don't tell all that stuff, I kind of feel a bit emotionless to that scene um but will are using his powers so that's always great um but clearly it, the, the more he used the weaker he gets so or at least it takes him it drains him out a bit uh so it's a good that's a good way to set the budget hey willow can't use his magic all the time because uh we have a budget but um but yeah I mean, it's better. It's a better episode. It's a better episode. Just there's some t- tone shifts here, and there, and, and I, I just felt like maybe if you cut the the farmer's scene out and then getting killed, and they have the whole your you, your dead deaths are on your hands. You are responsible for them. Cut all that stuff out. I think I think it would be a better episode, and also cut all the uh, merit kit stuff. Let's save that for next week. Um, next week in the, the main five episodes to be on that character but yeah I, I, you know it's a better episode Ho- hopefully you know we get maybe we get bad or like i think the first episode is like the uh, first half is good so i think it's fine but okay we get okay to bad and we go oh by episode eight is brilliant maybe we get that maybe i don't know